afvangen. Hallo, I'm Smithy. This is obviously a Kentucky. I've had to put the blind up, the sun's coming straight through. <coughs> anyway, I haven't made a video for a few weeks. We've been having some... Uh, I wouldn't say we've been having fun, because we <laughs> we've had some uh, enlightenment. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what, a lot of you know what, I, what I've been going through anyway, but... Um, I actually had a burger from McDonald's, and uh, I think it was a buffalo burger or something like that, and uh, full of rocket, you know, the lettuce stuff. And I just got a pain about ten minutes after it, and I thought, what's that? And it, I said, seriously, I'm not well. Anyway, as the night progressed, it, it sort of eased off, if you will, after a few hours. Anyway, when I got up in the morning, which was very early, because I didn't sleep well, it was still there, the pain, but not as bad as it was. And I thought, uh, maybe it's food, well, see, we see that said maybe it's food poisoning. I thought, well, maybe the rocket was off or something. I don't know, you know, listeria and all sorts of different stuff. Anyway, I think I didn't eat for two days, right? No food. And the third day I woke up and I thought, oh, I feel, I feel great. Oh, I'm starving. So I went in the kitchen. What did I find? Warburton's bread. Free range eggs, I thought, right, two eggs on a plate, scoop them up, dip the bread in, eggy bread. Oh, it's beautiful. Anyway, I had the eggy bread. Oh, it went down so nice. Bit of salt. Beautiful. It's, it's just one of them, it's like smoky bacon. It's just, it's just one of them flavours, you know. You, unless you've had it, you know. It's, oh, it's, uh, If you like fried bread and you like eggs, you'll like eggy bread. Anyway, I kid you not, it put me on the floor. And I mean the floor. I thought I was having a heart attack and somebody actually messaged me and said my wife has had a heart attack, survived and the year after it was my gallbladder and he said he, her gallbladder got inflamed and infected and she said it was worse than a heart attack. I haven't had a heart attack so I, can't, I thought I was having a heart attack but it lasted for six hours and uh, <clears throat> God bless the NHS. I'll tell you something, I, I, went to, I had to ring Sue at work, she had to come home, I, I said I need to the hospital soon. I rang this 111, they said, just, we'll send an ambulance. I said, no, I, I, I can go myself with my wife. Anyway, so Sue drove me to A&E. You go in, uh, you sit in this room for 20 minutes or whatever, and then the doctor sees you. You know, you go in his, his little cubicle. I lied on the bed, and he, he just went, he pushed the, he pushed it this side, and I went out, and he said, yep, gold blooder. He, he, within 15 seconds, he knew exactly what it was. So that, from there, I think it took five minutes to get me to a ward. And I sat on this ward, the guy right across from me, is completely yellow. Anyway, they, they, they put a cannula in here. I don't know if you can see all that. That's the, uh, that's the, bru that's the bruising from all the blood they've been taking out of me. Everywhere. Oh, I've had injections in my stomach, I've had MRI scans, I've had CT scans. I'm probably glow in the dark now. <coughs> but I'll tell you what, them nurses and them doctors, this, they're something else. I mean, Boris, 1% is a disgrace, mate. I mean, these people deserve anything, you know. They just could not do enough for me. Uh, you know, they're just, they're like, they really are. If you die and you come back, and that's, that's where you want to go, because them people are out of this world. Anyway, this guy that was yellow across from me, his gold blood had become inflamed, and one of his gold stones has blocked, it's a bile duct, believe it or not, and it blocked it, and that's what turns you yellow. And to get that out, they have to put a camera down and get it out, and then remove his um, gallbladder the next day. And as soon as he came back from operating theatre, he'd gone normal, normal colour. It's surprising. Uh, but I'll tell you something, who knew anything about, about a gallbladder? Eh? I think when you're born, they should take your gallbladder and your appendix away. <coughs> so I'm, st I'm not 100%. The pills they've given me, I can't drive for seven days. So I've got the con ticket. I just can't go anywhere. But I do feel quite weak because even in the hospital, I, I didn't eat for two or three days. Uh, they put you on drips and all sorts. You put these socks on to stop blood clots and they're giving you injections in your stomach for blood clots and all. <coughs> I, th I think the third day I had something to eat, which meant that I'd had nothing to eat for five or six days. All I'd had was an eggy bread. Which absolutely, it just floored me. I just, I was on the floor. I couldn't move. 
pain, it, it, I've never had pain like it in my entire life, ever. And I have hurt myself in the past. There was a guy there, you know, we got quite quite good friends and uh, I kept going outside to have a little walk around the little courtyard thing they've got, just to keep exercising. And uh, he broke his leg and he, he, he was all shattered and he had to have, you know, this operation to have pins in it and all that. He's a tree surgeon, right? I said, oh, you fell out of a tree. He said, no. He said, I went walking the dog and slipped on some grass. I said, did you okay? So you climb trees for a living and you fell on, you slipped on, he slipped on some grass. Oh, God. He said, do you know what? I've got motorbikes, I've done this, I've done that, I've done rock climbing. He's done all sorts, he said, and he slipped on grass. What do you fathom that? that? I said, that's why they call them accidents, isn't it? There was an old fella next to me and when he came in, he heard him. He was he's in his 80s and he said, uh, to, no, so he put a screen round when you first come in. He said, uh, I don't think I'm going to get out of here, <coughs> you know, to doctors or nurses or whatever. Anyway, later on, we, we had a chat, and I said, can I just tell you something? And I said, I heard what you said to them doctors and all that, and I, I said, listen, I, I said, this is your first time in hospital. He said, yeah, I've never been in 80 years. I said, right, listen to me. I said, these people want you to walk out of the front door, and they're going to spend no matter what amount of money to make that happen. I said, you're in the best place, they'll sort you out, and you will leave. That is their goal. They have no other goal in life except to make you well. Anyway, I put him here, so he's all right after that. He's, uh, it's his first time in hospital in all them years, you know. And uh, so anyway, we had a good laugh. So the ward was funny. The guy next to me, oh, no, I went to another ward. And then the guy next to me, he was going, uh, 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 all day and night. And uh, the fella across from me, was it? No, the fella across but one, he wanted to know what time it was, you know, 15 hours a day. And uh, so... What time is it? What time is it? So I'm, I'm, I'm getting all this out, out of my head. It was, it was fun though, we, we had a laugh. I mean, this, this fella next to me, he had a leg taken off and uh, they were getting him from the chair to the bed, but he was screaming. But the guy next to him was screaming in sympathy of him screaming. So he's going, ow, ow, and this other bloke's going, lay a little on. So these two beds are all screaming. There's only one guy having some, you know, getting in bed. <laughs> Oh god. So I've had some fun in the past week. I'm just so glad to be out and I'm so glad that they got rid of that pain. That pain was something else. So so we are going to do cooking videos. We are going to have fun. It's not a depressing video. We're all right now. We're out. We're out. They didn't actually remove my gallbladder. Uh, the problem they've got is I've had three operations in the past on my stomach before in all different spots for the same thing in my stomach. But uh, so that will cause them a problem to try and get this gallbladder out. So they're going to, I've got these pills, and I've got to go on a low fat diet and uh, I, I've obviously try not to upset it but it's uh, in the future, you know, I keep getting the pain because I, I couldn't live with that pain. If I'd have been an American and I'd have had a gun, I'd have shot myself that day because it was, I, I, it, it was so intense. I, I really thought I was having a heart attack. I thought, right, and I, I waited and I thought, how long does it take to die? Why am I still here? And it went on for hours and hours and hours and Sue couldn't come out. I thought, oh, I didn't know what to do. I mean, the pain, it's like having your arm chopped off. It was awful. I've never had pain like that before. So if you get a pain and it's on your right hand side, just below the last rib, just there, it's your gallbladder. And uh, I, I just thought it was having a heart attack. And uh, anyway, so we are going to do some cooking videos. Uh, they're not stopping. If I cook anything exotic, like burgers and things like that, Sue's going to have to eat them. Uh, we've got some... Uh, I'm not doing cooking now, but I'm just showing you. We, we, we've bought some one cow fry light uh, olive oil, you know, the spray stuff. We're, we're on uh, Flora Light. Uh, so we're doing everything right. We've bought brown bread. We've got the uh, muesli bran and all kinds of stuff. So uh, it's a learning curve for me. So I don't know what I can eat and what I can't eat. I, I know, you know, there's certain... I can't fr fry anything anymore. Um, unless I use that light fry thing so i don't know if this is going to last forever or, or whether it will just heal and you know i can go back to normal at the minute i'm not going to risk it because six hours of pain for an eggy bread is just not worth it although i do like eggy bread uh, so there you go i just wanted to keep you informed of what's been going on and why i haven't made a video it's just life i'm a human being you know i'm going to get ill uh, we're all going to get ill but i'll tell you this one minute one minute in one day can just change your life. Who knew that I would be in hospital all that time? Whew. Anyway, the stories I tell you, I was telling them, so we had a laugh. Um, 
you know, as well as being in pain and not wanting to be there and all that, I made light, light heartedness of what was going on. But uh, I, it's, it's just so good to be out, it's so good to not be in pain, and it's so good to see me come ticking it. And the dogs, oh, the, I mean, if they could shout and cry, they would have done, because by the minute I walked in the door, it, you know, it's like they'd never seen me for five years. And uh, Sue did bring them to hospital, you're not allowed visitors, so I had to come outside to see Sue. I've been bloated ever since I've left there. And uh, she brought the dogs in the car, so that was good to see. And one of the granddaughters as well, Jamie Lee. And uh, so anyway, so that, that's what I've been doing. I've, uh, you know, such is life. Uh, we're all human. You, you go through all these things, don't you? Old age is uh, is a cracking, a cracking, uh, a cracking thing. It's great. <laughs> uh, good. So I'm going to catch up on a lot of YouTube videos. I am subscribed to a lot of people on YouTube with, that have vans and you know that go metal detecting and gold panning and all this other stuff. So although I can't watch every single video, because <laughs> I would just do nothing else in life, but you know, I do watch your videos when you know as, as much as I can, and I comment as much as I can. So that's, I'll be doing that. Uh, I just wanted to let you know what I've been doing, and uh, I mean, <clears throat> Sue says, "Oh, you look like you've lost weight." I'm still over 12. I'm quite a big bloke. I'm still over 12 stone. I've just gone thin in the face. It's the only place I've lost weight is with me. Anyway. Um, I think I've, I weigh 12 stone too now, but this food, when I start to learn what I can eat and what I can't eat, when I cook for you, if you wanted to go on some type of a diet, it's ideal. Uh, although I don't want to go on a diet, I just I've, it's food that I need to eat food, but it's, I, I have to eat the right food. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to study a lot of pastas and things like that, and I'll, I'll be maybe boiled rice. I'll, I'll be learning what sauces I can and can't have, and. You know, and I'll, I'll take you, and uh, we'll still have fun cooking. But if I cook any of it, if I make a sniffy burger, Susie's the one that's going to have to test it. I can still eat meat, like chicken's fine, beef's fine, providing it's got no fat on it. I've just got to, no, the way your gallbladder works, when you eat anything with fat, your gallbladder secretes uh, something that helps your body digest the fat. So if you're not eating fat, you, you, your gallbladder doesn't have to do a job. And that's what we're doing at the minute. So I've got to take these pills. Like I said, I can't drive for a week, so I'm not going to drive for a week. They, they, that's what they've said. Apparently, you can hallucinate off these pills. Although I've, I've weird dreams, but I'm not hallucinating. But uh, anyway, so that's what we're doing. So Smithy's back. He's here. He's still himself. I'm still, you know, I'm still me. I, I don't change. Although I did that day, I was in pain. Now, I can't describe it enough for you. You know, I mean, to be fair, and to be fair to everybody. I should have been using all this stuff anyway. I should have been looking after myself, really. I'm 53 years of age. I mean, I've messaged my grandson, can I borrow your bicycle? And, uh, you know, I'll do a bit of exercise. I should have been doing that anyway. I've got this watch. I should have been walking, you know, a certain amount each day. These are the things that, over 50, I should have been doing anyway. It's just somebody else messaged me and said, you know what, it's not until you get a kick up the arse that you actually decide to change. Well, I've had a kick up the arse and I'm going to change. It's... You know, and you're right, yeah, unless you, you, something happens to you, who knows, you just carry on, don't you? You get up out of bed, you do your daily life, and you get home, and you have a burger, and you... Who knows what you have to do in life? Uh, nobody gives you a list and says, right, at 40 do this, and at 50 change to this. It's just all, of, you work it out. Or you listen to people like me, t giving you hints and tips. Whether you take that hint and tip or not, it's up to you. But I'll tell you something, and it surprised me, there's a hell of a lot of young people in that hospital with liver disease. They're in the 30s. Liver disease in the 30s. I mean, you know, I like a drink, but oh, it was something that absolutely yellow, you know. Some of them I knew them, you know, from years ago from school. Well, not from school because they're younger than me, but some of them, obviously taxi driving for a long time, you get to know everybody, but, you know, it was just unbelievable how many people were there for that, and they were young. So it's not affecting old people, but anyway. I don't class myself as old, I, I'm a, I, you're as old as you feel. I, I don't feel 53 either. I, I once remember my uncle running downstairs and he, he went down head first. I said, what are you doing? <coughs> he said, well, there's someone on radio. He, he was in time, it's a radio like me, and he, he'd heard someone on shipping radio and he wanted to go down to his big radio to listen to it. Couldn't get down quick enough. I, he was nearly 70, I said, you're nearly 70 years of age, what are you doing? He said, well, I don't feel 70. I said, well, how old do you feel? And I was probably 40 at the time and he said, 
Well, my body might be seven, my brain's about 25. <laughs> He's still a big kid, he's Ken. And he'll probably be watching, so, hey, you remember that day you went down the stairs head first? Oh, because you heard about radio. That's funny, that. And his stairs went down a curve as well. So he's, all I saw his head coming down. Me and Sheila stood there, head coming down. So, oh, hey. Anyway, we've had some fun, me and Ken. He's not well himself, to be fair, and he rang me up. Well, his wife rang me up and said, do you want picking up from the hospital? I said, you, they're going to come from a village miles away to the hospital to pick me up, to take me home. He's not well himself. I said, no, are you? I said, like, Susie will pick me up or I'll get a taxi. No. Oh. Anyway, thanks for the offer. Right, I'm going to go. I just wanted to update you as to what's been going on. I've not been hiding. I've, I've been having a few problems. So, uh, we're back, we're right, and we're smiling. That's the main thing. I did put a post on Facebook of me with my three little boys. My three little boys are in the 30s now. But what I wanted to do was just cheer myself up on Facebook. I wasn't out having a beer. I was in hospital. Um, it was just a picture from a few years ago. And I thought, well, I keep looking at Facebook and it kept showing me... Because I put a picture of myself in my bed like that, you know, I said, why, why have we not got like a lightsaber from aliens that goes, and then you're fixed, you know, like Star Trek. But I got that many comments on that video, every, on that uh, picture, every time I went on Facebook, that's the first picture I saw. So I thought, right, I'll put a nice one on. Uh, anyway. So, uh, we're, we're going we're gonna, to, we're gonna, I don't know what to say now, because uh, I'm, I'm stumbling. And that's not like me, the waffler. So we're going to carry on making videos, and uh, we're, going to, we're, going to do, we're going to have some fun. But I obviously can't drive for seven days, so if I do anything, it's going to have to be parked here in the van. We might do some cooking, and we'll see what we can eat and what we can't, and we'll, we'll do some interesting food. So it's going to be low diet food, low fat food. So if that's what you're interested in, stay tuned. Hey, I've been Smithy, this is me Kentucky. Stay safe, be lucky, and I'm definitely going to see you again. And have good health as well. See you soon.